Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video where today we'll be doing something slightly different to usual. A few weeks ago I took the visit up to the newly refurbished Team Sport Liverpool to take part in a GP1 members race where, well, I didn't really do too well at all. So instead of showing you a very boring video of me replicating the Williams F1 team being at the back of the pack, I'll be reviewing the newly changed electric track out of 5 stars over the following categories. The track layout, the carts, and the venue and staff slash members. A lot of you have asked me to come up to this track and I've heard some very good things before visiting, so I'm expecting some good things from this track, but without wasting too much time, let's see how good the new Team Sport Liverpool is and let's get into the first category. After the refurb and going electric, Team Sport Liverpool have shortened their track to only 475 metres to make room for the combat carts track. Before I go any further, let me just show you a quick unedited hot lap of the track. So with only 10 corners and not any real technical sections, the track, for me anyway, really isn't that exciting. I can see this layout working well in a public session, reducing the amount of accidents, thus reducing the yellow and red flag times. However, during a competitive members night, I did get quite bored very quickly, almost like watching paint dry. The only real technical part for me was the last section of corners as there was a few times where I almost span out trying different braking and throttle points, but apart from that, it just feels like full throttle, quick dab of the brakes, full throttle, dab of the brakes, and that's the lap completed. As the first two corners in the, and the two corners on the top can be done at full throttle, even with a cart's highest speed setting. So because of this, out of five stars, I'm only going to give the Team Sport Liverpool track two out of five stars for the layout. But before I go any further, I have heard rumours of them stringing both the main track and the combat carts track together to create an international track, which certainly would make the track more fun. But until then, I'd rather watch Beef Cook and my Grandma Slow Cooker. On to the next section. So Liverpool uses Sodi electric carts over the traditional Biz electric carts that other team spot tracks use. The positive thing about these carts is not only can you change the position of the seat, but you can also change the position of the pedals and steering rack to really get comfortable in the cart. But what's the main difference in the two carts? Well, as the Biz cart feels very heavy and rugged to drive, while the Sony carts actually have an assisted power steering rack to make the cart feel really light to drive. Now, I know a lot of people do prefer this as it makes the cart easier to drive, however, I feel the complete opposite. I honestly really couldn't get on with the carts at all as I never felt in complete control of it. Maybe this would disappear if I was to get more practice in these carts, but during the night, I really wasn't getting on with the cart and I really wasn't enjoying driving it. I feel like I know exactly what the Biz car is doing when I drive them as it feels much more heavier to drive but once again this is entirely my preference and a lot of people I've talked to really do enjoy the Sony e car so please don't let my preference put you off. Another change which I unfortunately didn't get to try was how the boost button gets deployed. Because I was on speed 4 during the members night the boost button doesn't work unlike the Biz cart where it still works on speed 4 but you get 5 seconds of boost on the Sony cart over the 3 seconds of boost on the Biz and you can deploy the 5 seconds whenever you want around the track which I think is very cool instead of only getting to deploy the boost power once on the Biz carts. The power of the Sony carts feels solid on Speed 4 so I've got no complaints with that. I still think that indoor carts and E carts are the way forward over petrol carts so I'll have to rate the carts a 2.5 out of 5 however once again I'll say that this is my personal preference and a lot of people will rate these 5 out of 5 stars. On to the next section. Right, so I didn't feel much of the venue itself, but it's certainly one of the much better venues I've been to. As soon as you walk into the place after signing in at reception, you met with a spacious sports bar with plenty of places to sit, TVs all around showing sports channels, three different pool tables and the team sport lanes, mini bowling lanes. 
you almost forget you actually hit a go-kart track once you enter the sports bar. But once you pass the bar, you enter a very spacious area with a couple of arcade machines overlooking the combat carts track. I think, they, I think they can easily put more arcade machines around this area, as there's lots of room to play with, but you're at a go-kart track to go go karting, right? It's a shame you can't watch the main track from here, like with a lot of the team sport venues you can see most of the track from trackside, but here you can only really see the top of the track, and that's if you adventure up to where everyone gets seated to go out on track. Not the most ideal place to watch the race. The staff are all phenomenal as well, you can really tell they all get along with the members and create a great atmosphere and community feeling you don't really get with many other tracks. Even with me and Hannah getting our silly note on our accounts from TeamSport Nottingham incident, the staff just had a good laugh about it, obviously they were curious as to what happened, but we weren't treated any differently or made to feel like we shouldn't be there. All the members that were there that night too were awesome, you could tell they all get along with each other really well and have a good laugh and joke with each other about anything and everything. And even Hannah did really well that night getting third overall. They didn't try anything nasty as she's never been to the track and she's a girl, something obviously females can face when beating the boys. Instead they all congratulated her, told her how she did really well for never even being at the track before, even posting about it on social media as well. And Hannah was absolutely buzzing the whole three hour drive home after an incredible performance. So the venue, staff and members are all top notch and something a lot of the tracks can really learn from. It took me by surprise how amazing the atmosphere is at Liverpool and it's a shame I'm not close to the track. I'm going to have to rate this 4.5 stars out of 5 only because you can't watch the track from track side as well that's really my only complaint as obviously you'd quite like to watch the race if it's happening and you're not racing in it. But yeah that's my only complaint about the, the venue, the staff and the members itself. So yeah 4.5 stars out of 5. So to summarise, Teamsport Liverpool is a fantastic venue with great staff and members. The track as it currently sits is a bit lacklustre, with carts that I myself can't get along with, but most people do say how much better they are over the biz carts. So overall I'm going to give Teamsport Liverpool a 3.5 stars out of 5, only due to my pef preference on how the track is and the carts, but that's only my opinion. I've heard lots of stories from other members saying it's one of the best tracks, so please don't let that score distract you from going. I'd highly recommend you visit, whether you're new or regular to other tracks, to see how you think about it. And also, let me know in the comments if you've been before and how you rate it out 5 stars. So YouTube, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.